Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. You know, when I did my darkest scale ever video of the double harmonic major scale, people would write in and say, oh, I know this scale's darker, or I think this scale's darker. So I decided to call this episode Scale Wars. Hungarian minor versus super low grain double flat seven. Go back and forth, compose a piece, and see what you think is the darkest sounding scale. Okay, let's go over the two scales since I didn't do that in the last video. The Hungarian minor. <laughs> in the key of C. So we have C, D, E flat, F sharp, G, A flat, B, C. So it's one, two, flat three, sharp four, five, flat six, major seven, and back up to the tonic. The super low grain double flat seven is C, D flat, E flat, F flat, G flat, A flat, B double flat and C. Okay, so it'd be one, flat two, flat three, flat four, flat five, flat six, double flat seven. That's where the name comes from. Back up to the tonic. Let's take a listen to the chords from these two scales. Okay, that was a lot of chords. Next, we have the C super low grain double flat seven. Here are the triads and seventh chords from that scale. Okay, so you're wondering, I lay out all these chords, but how do you make music with it? Well, you take these chords and you combine them in different ways. You use them as arpeggios. You use them as static chords. I could take a chord out of the scale like this. Or I could just make it an arpeggio in a line. 
Think of it as the vocabulary to create melodies from. It's not just a bunch of notes and you're meandering around. There's all these structures that are hidden within it. So here's a piece I composed for this episode. I start out in the C Hungarian minor scale, and I'll have it on the screen, and then I go to the C Super Locrian double flat seven scale. I'm curious to see what you think is the darker of the scales. They have darkness in a different way. Check it out. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. And if you're interested in the Beata book, which has all these theoretical ideas in it, you can go to my website at www.rickbeato.com and find it there. And remember, give the video a thumbs up and put a comment in there. I know a lot of you don't like writing comments, but it's great to hear from people. Thanks for watching. I'm Rick Beato. Mm -hmm.